great uh, guys who want to see it uh, in a lifetime, you know, in live stream, during the live stream. Uh, I will show you all these items closer and if you want, I can answer your question or show something special for you uh, on this uh, live stream and here we can see a lot of items and all these items I found on uh, Max Show 2022 and uh, this is amazing pieces and um, few sorts we can see here some of them in mint condition some of them in great condition but um, all these sorts uh, on this table are German except uh, this one Russian Shashka and um, this is a naval sword, two artillery swords, uh, one court sword, it's a um, civilian one, uh, one fireman official dagger, and uh, this one is really cool. This is a special type for um, of these uh, daggers, so I bought it from Thomas Johnson, uh, Johnson's table, and all these items I also can show you closer. A uh, couple items are really unique because uh, this one is Franco Prussia, Franco Prussian War, um, 1870-1871, and uh, this sort is really cool. Uh, this sort is uh, much more earlier than uh, average um, Kaiser period uh, officer sort, uh, and uh, here we can see also. A word. This is Iron, Clo Clo <laughs> Iron Cross, uh, second class for Franco Prusa War. And uh, here we can see names of battles of, um, of the owner of this sword. It's really incredible piece with uh, a lot of documents. So this folder is full of documents about uh, the guy who served in uh, this regiment. It's a Baden regiment. And we uh, filmed video about oh, let me show you something <laughs> and uh, we filmed a video about this sort and about this guy uh, with all these documents with um, with proofs that uh, this sort is a period sort because for example this hilt um, was early uh, hilt for the period when um, this sort has been ordered but um, why it's so important because sometimes uh, people just take a nice blade without handle and just put another uh, blade on uh, another hilt, another um, handle on this blade, and uh, it's not nice because it's not original. But uh, here we can see it's original condition and original uh, complete uh, and original factory complete since that time, uh, since franco prussia war. And uh, on the back side, we also can see, I will film a video about, I already filmed the video about this sword. On the back side, we also can see um, all last names of, uh, of the owner and of his um, brother in arms, and a lot of them. And uh, they also served with uh, him. So this one is an incredible piece. Uh, and this one, probably one of the best pieces I've uh, found on this show. So this is a not third Reich period. I'm mostly focusing in, but anyway, this one is really cool and uh, full of history because we know uh, the name of the guy. We know where he served. We know that he uh, received uh, the greatest order for Baden, um, this type. And we know all his uh, awards, and we know all his awards after he, during uh, he served, you know. So this one is really interesting, and I will show it to you. Uh, probably in few weeks when I edit this um, video about this sword. Oh, thank you for likes, uh, guys. And um, next one, next one is a battle sword. It's not just uh, just dress sword, uh, with really huge um, blade. Look at that, it's really huge. And this sword for hussars, and they also will show it to you closer. And it's very unusual when you see um, battle handle 
with um, original uh, private purchase um, private purchase um, blade so this pair oh thank you thank you uh, and this pair is really cool i probably found it uh this one is also german made wkc uh kids sword with a small teeny um uh, portopy and uh, with a small uh heel so is it nice um it's nice isn't it is it it's more correct to say uh so i really like it because it's uh, near mint condition with uh, original scabbard uh, with original blue scabbard with um with etched blade it's like double etched blade and uh also this one made for kids uh, and uh, we can see special kind of tip of the blade so I like this material also, and um, I do like uh, kids' swords because in that condition, because of um, most of them have damaged, uh, has been damaged, and most of them has been played, and you know uh, what kids can make with the sword. But this one in in really nice condition, so probably it was uh, forbidden for that kid. Uh, touch it you know? <laughs> yeah. so he was really sad about it i i guess uh, and um, here also we can see a few more swords and i will um, show it to you a little bit uh, later because i want to show guys um, all these uh, daggers and knives and hitler youth knives and uh, um, duke and bayonets and all this stuff I, i'm also by um, bought on the show max show 2022 it was not um, uh, easy to find all these uh, items but i did my best and um, you see the result so i can uh, say you hello hello everybody this is more story video vlog so we can uh, start our uh, broadcast our live streams and um, you can ask me uh, questions so you need to get um, 17 98 british light cavalry saber none better um honestly I had one i had one and i published it in my book and um that one uh, has been made for american um for americans because uh, there was american flag uh, on the uh, blade so you can see it on my book probably next time i will show it uh this one is that one was uh, really nice i bought it um, in las vegas um, after the sos 2020 right before uh pandemic so it's really nice uh sword also so um what do you want me to show you the first uh before you text <laughs> message for me uh, i want to show you all these um, butchers it's there are uh, mauser uh, bayonets and it's first world war period but uh, this is collection of them for example um, this one no let's start from early one uh, this one is uh, early one and um, this one is not uh, 9802 uh, 9805 it's 9802 so this one was right before um, germans start produced uh, butcher because uh, we can see blade this blade uh, is straight i can show it it's more easy uh, to explain if i up if i well just compare them you can see it um, this um, early one um, bigger and uh, blade is straight and handled almost the same but it have difference so this one cost much more um, cost much more <laughs> than that one um, because uh, only three yes only three years um, they produced uh, early one then they um, create 
uh, butcher, classic one. Uh, it was lighter and it was uh, more cheap to produce. Uh, for example, this one produced in, let me show you, in 1916. Uh, and this one has been produced in 03. 1903. Uh, I will publish um, pictures of uh, these items on my Instagram channel so you can see it um, closer because I really, it's really nice to find it. Uh, every time, so this one is the uh, same classic butcher one uh, with nice blade and I will show it to you is a uh, nice blade i didn't clean it so uh, i have to wipe it because uh, the oil uh, we can see on the blade but anyway mm, this one is really nice i don't want to make it dirty so um this one not so back uh, this one is so back for pioneer troops and for unter officers and um, this one we can see butcher knife, butcher bayonet uh, with blue mm, blade, with blue blade, and uh, it means uh, this one has been refurbished in uh, during Weimar period and um, during uh, Third Reich period. They uh, reissued and um, they use it for artillery troops and uh, other uh, stuff who didn't fight uh, on the front line. So this one have uh, also third Reich period um, frog and uh, this one is in really uh, nice condition, nice untouched condition. And look at that. Actually, this one has been produced in 1917. Can you see it? Yes. Um, and if you ask me, to publish uh, pictures on Instagram, I will do that. So you can ask me publish particular that item you like more. Um, so what else about uh, questions? Because uh, in previous video I uh, have I have previous video um, and uh, there are some questions here. And look at that, for example. Can't wait to see awesome stuff. Looking really good. Thank you. Uh, now I know why I couldn't find anything. Uh, you bought it all. Nice find. Thank you. Thank you. I did my best. Nice catch. Um, mm -hmm. What happened with uh, all the dealers not being allowed to list certain items online anymore? I unfortunately. Honestly, I didn't get this uh, this question anyway. It's like super stuff. Uh, Hitler use looks like uh, very hot now. I have six of them with motor and uh, on the blades. Uh, with motor, honestly, it's uh, pretty difficult to find now because uh, most of them uh, have no motor or um, some of them have uh, fake motors. Uh, motor, it means... Um, it means, like here, uh, blood und Ehre uh, sign on the blades. So, um, nice with motto is really uh, popular because uh, you can buy small piece, small item, small piece of history. And if you not, uh, if you do not want uh, collect all stuff, if you don't want to collect um, knives and edged weapon, you need just a well-known item. Uh, so most popular item is Hitler use knife or SA dagger. On this show, I didn't find for myself uh, any SA daggers uh, in really good condition. It was like an average uh, condition, but I already have some on my stock and um, I didn't want to buy it. But anyway, I bought only SS dagger and, um, for example, a few videos before I bought uh, a lot of essays. Uh, now I didn't find. So it's like uh, zebra, <laughs> you know, lines, like white line, black line um, for every kind of material on the show. So uh, sometimes you can find a lot of um, fireman bayonets, sometimes you can find a lot of um, Japanese 
pocket sashes, for example, sometimes uh, swords, but uh, sometimes you cannot find that items you want to find. So uh, I didn't find any uh, SA daggers, nice SA daggers on this show, uh, but I honestly didn't focus focused on it. And um, with Hitler use bayonets, with Hitler use uh, knives, um, I want to finish my... Uh, uh, how to say it, I want to finish my mini. <laughs> um, so with uh, Hitler used knives, it's very popular because it's uh, well-known items and um, everybody can see it. And um, if you have only one piece, uh, you have like pr trophy from World War II, uh, like veteran brought back. So it's very interesting. It's um, I bought um, all these items and uh, it's some more uh, on a locker and I bought collection, um, big part of collection of uh, these daggers. So some of them are really rare. For example, this one, Ernst Pack and Son, and Ernst Pack and Sons um, with this type of um, stamp maker mark uh, is very nice and uh, you can see it's special um, special stuff for uh, special type of the handle with screws because uh, most of them uh, have rivets but Ernst Pack have screws and uh, there are three of them uh, with different types of the uh, blade and uh, with the traces of uh, motor and um, actually it's really cool when you can find it because most of them uh, has been it was not a lot of them okay <laughs> it was not a lot of them it's pretty rare so um, for example here um, <laughs> this one also nice uh, maker mark WMW and um, this one is Christians, Christians Zollingen. Um, this one is Hartmann, but uh, this is uh, scarce, not rare. Um, this one is Gottlieb Hamesfar, also first one without Ricasa. Um, this one is Atel, uh, I will show it to you later. This one, um, this maker mark is pretty rare. Um, this uh, that stuff is also first uh, type of the blade and uh, I really like it. Uh, next one is Ernst Pack. Next one is uh, Tiger. Tiger is also scarce if you show it uh, somebody in uh, first, um, first pattern. And it's nice. So, um, Burker. Burger, you can see here it's very popular but uh, pretty scarce if you if we're talking about hitler used knives anton wingen anton wingen we also see here nice maker um carl Eichern. this carl Eichern. uh this is double oval let me this is double oval carl Eichern. ah no it's not oval so it's like uh, pretty rare um early uh, marked in all uh, maker mark and look at that that's really cool sorry for uh, my english sometime i want to say more than i can but anyway this uh cam zollingen also uh first pattern and next one is asa schuttelgoffer this one is also first pattern so uh, i really I do like this uh, collection and uh, all these early knives. So this one, like Herman Hahn, and um, this one is pretty rare. If we're talking about Rob Mueller, this one is transitional with uh, RZM mark. Uh, Graviso, Graviso is also a nice one. Uh, all these items are not shaft. Shaf are not in uh, great condition, but this is a decent condition for um, for collection. Some of them was in bad condition. I didn't uh, buy those items, but now I'm like probably I I used to have to buy that um, the rest of them because it was like three hundred bucks for for damaged pieces and uh, three three fifty and. Uh, it would be great to to buy it, but it's like 
it's gone <laughs> already. Um, here we can see a few daggers. Um, those two are uh, regular uh, second model, not separate um, navy dagger daggers. And this one is early one. I will show it to you on during the the next videos because um, this one is a really interesting one with a special type of blade it looks like uh, 1848 uh, but it's probably not it's uh, probably transitional between 1848 and uh, uh, imperial one with a crown because um, handle looks the same like um, 48 but uh, tip of uh, scabbard different have difference and also we can see here special crown on the blade so this one is really interesting i want to i want to learn it more i want to explore it more uh, this is first model luftwaffe dagger with um, puma uh, puma with uh, copper swastikas in aluminum uh, hilt parts and uh, oh by the way this one uh, this is a gravity knife and this one is interesting because i can show you show you how sometimes um, you can buy not that item uh, in, in not that condition um, people like talking about. Uh, this one looks like uh, mint condition but it's not. Uh, there is a trace of um, open of this item. How to say it when uh, they take it apart and then uh, put it all together. So uh, this is a like a seek of <laughs> of this type of knives. Um, however, is aluminum first first model with the copper fittings. Uh, it's that's scarce. That's not rare, but it's scarce, and uh, most of them are Puma made. Uh, so this one um, repaired, and um, the seek of these types, uh, this type of knives, um, is. Um, <laughs> springs uh, this part because you see if you play with it uh, too much it uh, could be break because there is a uh, two rivets and uh, if you open it uh, too often uh, you can break this uh, stuff so uh, people sometimes buy um, gravity knives uh, with broken spring and they just uh, take it off, uh, remove the spring uh, and um, change it so it's repair stuff. Uh, if this one um, repaired should cost probably 500, 600 bucks, but sometimes people want to sell it for 1000 or for 1100 and um, they show it as untouched. Uh, but this one uh, you can see, you can identify it uh, if you see this part, if you see this cross guard, uh, you can see small scratches and also you can see you can see here two rings and um, this is a uh, like rivets <laughs> uh, like rivets and you have to pull it out for uh, for open this knife uh, so when you pull it out and um, uh, then push it back uh, after you repair this uh, knife you have to like uh, polish this cross guard but you can't do that um, exactly the same as untouched ones so uh, you can identify uh, with pictures uh, when somebody open it if you see these like rings here not in all uh, cases you can see it uh, this item um, has been uh, repaired but it's like bad sign it's a red flag so you have to uh, see it closer but anyway this one was a cheap one so a friend of mine just bought it for um, you know for fun for like tactical knife so it's um, still original it's um, rust fry paul weisberg and uh, anyway uh, for right money it's a nice uh, item and uh, what else what else we can see here? Um, hi Alex, greeting Alex, great collection and nice to see you at the show. All the best, an SKK guy. Jeffrey Richards, like to your uh, nice collection. By the way, Jeffrey Richards, uh, an SKK guy with an SKK um, daggers with uh, like tags. 
So, however, okay, I already answered. Um, this one is pretty rare item. This is uh, DLV slash Luftwaffe first model uh, dagger, and this one made. Um, it's a refurbished, modified DLV uh, 55 centimeters of uh, Heidelberg. You can see it, uh, and uh, it was a long. Um, Jeff, your display at the show was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree. So um, this one is um, was uh, DLV 55 centimeters, but uh, it has been refurbished uh, during 1935, um, and uh, they add um, this uh, wire on a handle, and they cut uh, the tip of blade, and they also cut. Um, cut this um, scabbard. You can you can see they they just cut it and uh, uh, redone. So that's pretty rare. That's very rare. Probably much more rare than DLV untouched DLV uh, fifty five centimeter dagger. But um, while it's uh, refurbished, it costs a little bit uh, less. Probably. Um, like 30% less than a uh, long one, long DLV. So I bought it also from uh, Thomas Johnson uh, table and uh, I'd like um, to show it to you and, and uh, that's cool, I found it. So this one is really nice uh, forestry uh, dagger. I already filmed uh, and I already, um, I already edited um, video with Thomas Wittmann and uh, I bought from his uh, table almost the same item and it was also with uh, eagle with swastika on the hilt and um, people likes items with swastika um, daggers like this uh, forestry and hunting daggers with swastikas because of uh, swastika can show you particularly that period when it has been produced so um, if you find just traditional um, dagger you have to be uh, like you have to be kind of expert uh, to tell the period when it was uh, produced if it's original so here um, you can see it. it's like big sign that it was pre um, it has been made uh, during 1933 to 1940 uh, Actually, 42, uh, not 245, because um, Germans stopped produce um, daggers and uh, uh, parade and uh, dress um, edged weapon in 1942, plus minus. So, uh, you're trying to buy all the Hitler used knives. No, it's impossible to try. Uh, it's, 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 it's possible to try, but it's impossible to buy uh, all knives of um, Hitler Youth because if it was a lot of them. But anyway, I saw this collection and uh, I decided to buy it because uh, it's pretty uh, scarce. Uh, and uh, I just want to buy them all if they in nice and decent condition with decent price. So this one I bought uh, in Belgium when I was in Belgium and a um, uh, friend of mine, he brought it uh, for me from Belgium. This one is um, engraved, uh, etched bayonet, uh, miniature, like uh, one slash two, like half size. Uh, miniature WKC, it's well-known type in almost the mint condition, so um, I bought it in Belgium. Uh, this one is Holm, Holm Shield, uh, Holm Shield, <laughs> Holm Shield, and um, um, 1942, it was, um, uh, this is the most rare, rarest um, shield, for sleeve shield uh, in uh, German like line. So um, this one, only this part is missing. But anyway, this is original one with uh, correct M. Uh, it's very valuable and I, I like I bought it. So uh, next one is um, Scottish Dirk because uh, everybody who likes um, Scottish stuff uh, also like uh, Scottish Jerks 
and look at that uh, we can see here like fork and knife uh, this is also tra tradition traditional stuff and um, sometimes people ask uh, why uh, do they have uh, these stones uh, on their knives but it's very symbolized i like it I've, i actually i love it um, because uh, for officer for men who served and um, who was overseas it was a piece of their motherland uh, motherland <laughs> with um, them because uh, it, this is a Scottish stone I unfortunately forgot uh, the name of the stone uh, but anyway it's uh, part of uh, Scotland with every Scottish uh, guy so it's very symbolic uh, for them and I also do like it that's a Victorian uh, period we can see and um, most likely it was um, 1880s uh, plus minus five years uh, this one is uh, etched engraved um, bayonet um, this is a classic for a textbook for um, Karl Eicher you can see here um, the squirrel and this is a pretty scarce trademark pretty scarce trademark so this is a uh, two Wehrmacht eagles and this one is a uh, nice original and in really nice condition um, also here we can see uh, police uh, extra Zeitengivia uh, it's uh, like a dress bayonet for police in near mint condition it uh, has not been uh, cut cotton <laughs> uh, it has not been sh bit short uh, and um, it has brown leather and uh, really nicely done and uh, this one is like also textbook WKC with correct scabbard with correct pin so uh, I glad I bought it a uh, few regular daggers for example this one is a short uh, fireman bayonet uh, model 1933 uh, those are regular bayonets for uh, privates and because it's long one in case it's um, for under officers it should be short you can see it clearly here um, and um, this one is Gibbers Jaeger and Amber Stone oh, probably uh, it's like hmm. I will text it I will text it later uh, so this one is um, um, Gibbers Jaeger and this one is a regular one but in really nice condition and uh, with really nice stamp maker mark Paul Zeilheimer and unfortunately I also used to want to buy Arisaka uh, bayonet from uh, this dealer but uh, during the film video I didn't buy it I just uh, put it on hold and uh, then uh, show finished and uh, seller gun so next time probably i will buy it and two three more daggers three more nice daggers we can see here for example this one is long one bayonet uh police bayonet weimar police bayonet and you can see it full length yes, i remember the word word and uh, it's in full complete you can see here um nice frog with uh, nice portopy and with uh, mint condition uh, bayonet so i'd like it uh, this one is bavarian um, mauser bayonet first world war period bavarian because of uh, the uh, portopy and this is um Finish uh, bayonet in mint condition, in stone mint condition. I like it, and uh, this one I found, uh, and I, I was like, wow, because uh, there is no rust, no anything, uh, blade still in uh, oil, so it's really cool. And look at the maker mark. This maker mark is SKU. It's shoot score, and um, Fiskers. Fiskers is well known until uh, our days. Uh, maker, and uh, we can see like X of uh, Fiskers and knives and all stuff from um, this Finland Finnish uh, company, and correct scabbard for 
uh, this type. So all these items, I really like it, and uh, I can tell you more <laughs> if you ask. Um, two, uh, naval swords, it's not best condition, but in really nice, it's like uh, 8 in 10 grade system. And what rifle is finished by it for? It's a uh, Mosin Nagan rifle. It was more Mosin Nagan rifle, like uh, Soviet, it has um, another type of um, bayonet, it's like this, but for Finnish uh, Mosin Nagan rifle, it was Finnish bayonets with uh, this type of, how to say it, um, I forgot the word, scale, no, sc you know what I mean, like slot, yeah, not, not, not slot. Mm -hmm. Help me with it. Okay, uh, so for this um, bayonet for Mosin Nagan rifle. Also, uh, here we can see few swords and um, one dagger. This uh, fireman dagger is really nice. I bought it from um, Thomas Johnson and you can see it. Um, Thep Thepks. Okay, thank you. And um, this one is... Uh, pretty scarce with uh, um, like a bone, no, not bone, it's a stuck, stuck um, grip, it's not wood, and uh, with special type of cross guard and with special type of, um, of the hilt with a head, with fireman's head. So, uh, this one is really cool, we can find it in Thomas Johnson book and um one of Thomas Johnson reference book and uh, this one is really cool I really like it and uh, actually it's actually it's big one you, you can see it compare with uh, um, with a regular officer sword uh, this sword is really nice uh, I'd like it I bought it not cheap because um, there is no any uh, defects because uh, for item from the middle of uh, 19th century it's really nice condition it's uh, not mint but it's like nine in 10 grade system so this is weisberg made and uh, you can see it gilded and blued and engraved um, uh, blade so it's signed that uh, this uh, blade has been produced in 19th century it was not etched it was uh, engraved and uh, look at that handle it's like black wood um, ebony grip and uh, this sword uh, is most likely for uh, civilian sword like court sword um, if you know exactly um, the unit who use it please text me because I'm focusing on military antiques and uh, this one is more civilian but anyway it's still pretty it's still cool and uh, this is antiques so I really like it um, and it's original and there is no defect so that is why I bought it um, because most of uh, items like that are like ceremonial items uh, have uh, different type of damages and actually we can see here that uh, its blade has not been cut uh, it's also very important for uh, edged weapon this one i do like also uh, because this one have edged blade with graph on lutes uh, to harman uh, this is dedication uh, from one person to another person and uh, there is no um, time frame for uh, there is no date uh, on this um, sword but we can see then this one um, here we can see two uh, rings on the scabbard it means uh, this is early scabbard because uh, after in 20th century, in beginning of 20th century, they just stopped, uh, produced this uh, ring and uh, they cut it and uh, used only one ring, like, like on this um, regular uh, sword. So this one is pretty early also. And we can see here it produced by in Berlin. Yeah, it produced in Berlin. Uh, here, just 
plain blade, not uh, Damascus, but uh, nickel plated. So I really like it also. And uh, we can see here artillery cannons. And uh, this one is nice. Here we can see artillery cannons under the crown. So it's uh, also interesting. And it's in almost mean condition. And all the, those two items, it's like almost 150 years old, you know, it's hard to believe that um, it's original and still in uh, this that great condition, but anyway, it's uh, original, be sure. And uh, sometimes people, um, sometimes people don't believe it and they text comments like, uh, that's too cool to be true, but um, I can, I proud myself. I, I did really good job and really cool job with um, and hard work with uh, searching, detecting, and searching all these items. So that is why it's so cool and it's still original. It's uh, in uh, original condition and original complete, and um, that's true. It's really cool, and uh, I proud that I can find it and uh, have opportunity to show it to you. So this one, um, just plain blade with uh, WKC marks under the um, like clamshell. But look at that. We can see here uh, crown uh, over the cannon. So it's like a special unit. Probably I have to Google it uh, more because it's not just uh, two cannons. Uh, and this one I like also because this one is a uh, naval officer uh, sword for uh, naval officer <laughs> for uh, Germans in Third Reich period. But this one have um, etched blade and this one is in really in, in mint condition. I mean in, in stone mint condition. And um, also we can see here uh, knots. This is a Horister, and look at that. This is just killer. It's like uh, drop head, <laughs> as, I, as I remember this um, this word. So it's it, it's really cool. It's uh, um, best naval sword I found um, here on this uh, on this exhibition on this show, and it's worn a little, and uh, we can see it a little bit. Uh, little bit worn but anyway uh, probably 85% uh, of gilding still here so I really like it and uh, there is uh, no damages on the uh, leather uh, on the scabbard so it's really cool I proud it that I bought it um, and uh, this one this sort it's not expensive but uh, look at these details on uh, the cross guard and uh, on the hilt so uh, this one is um, like late one pot metal like zinc um, handle uh, but it's really nice detailing on the, um, on the hilt because um, but metal, you cast it uh, much with may more d detailings, you know what I mean. Uh, so that's why it uh, looks so cool and so great. And all items uh, I shown you uh, here, I that I found on um, the show, all these items. Uh, with swastikas are just war souvenirs. This is not a propaganda thing. Um, uh, American and uh, Soviet and England uh, veterans just like it, just like to buy um, these items and brought back um, and bring back home to show uh, what enemy they fought against and what enemy they, f they finally... Um, win so uh, all items with uh, swastikas and all swastikas here in video it's uh, only for um, how to say it correctly for for learning history so that's uh, that's important to say uh, also i bought some items with uh, like badges and uh, crosses but for unfortunately i didn't have um, enough time to to go for like medals and badges dealers uh, that time, but I will uh, go to them uh, probably next month and I will ask 
um, them to find for me some items and find for my customers some items. Uh, but anyway, I bought some items for uh, from this field. And actually, yeah, sure. And actually, here we can see Hitler Youth uh, mint condition. Uh, this is a Hitler Youth knife in mint condition. And uh, this cupboard, it's untouched and uh, in really mint condition. I mean, <laughs> I mean mint, mint. Um, in the same condition with uh, this with this land customs dagger and probably i will uh, i will gift this uh, cap with uh, this customs uh, dagger and with um, hangers for it rlb dagger also rlb dagger also we can see here and uh, this is enlisted man and uh, also pretty uh, nice and couple more army daggers we also uh, can see here. Let me. When you say late, late nineteen thirties, or was was it made in nineteen forties? Um, actually, actually late. It means like uh, late thirties and early forties, because um, late in third period, uh, third Reich um, period, um, edged weapons. Uh, it means uh, late production period but um, they stopped produce um, parade and dress um, weapon in uh, 42 plus minus so that's why uh, 42 is pretty late so for Karl Eicher uh, late um, maker mark it's like um, when a squirrel uh, back over the shoulder um, this maker mark uh, exists since uh, 41 to 42 so and it means late so more items i will show you uh, after this video and um, probably tomorrow i will uh, publish video with thomas whitman thomas whitman interview and next uh, week i will uh, open my website for people you can see it and um, i will open my website in english because before um, i had website but only in russian so now i just translate it um, and um, you also can see items while it in the united states uh, before i send it to europe um, you can see items that i found and some of them you can um, you can buy also why not uh, because a lot of uh, people ask me where is my website and where i can um, where people can uh, see these items and uh, i will uh, i will show it to you next week and i will um, show the address under the video under this video and then under next one and also in my instagram um, would you be selling some of these? That was my next question. Yes, I will sell some of them because I can't uh, buy everything and uh, just keep it because I want, but I can't um, because I just... Uh, some items already sold. Some items already sold. I uh, bought it for, uh, for subscribers, for guys who are interested in uh, items of that period. And uh, so... You also can ask me uh, to find something for you as agent, so why not? Um, the next question, do you enjoy modern fixed blades? Um, yes, some of them, because uh, some, some modern blades are really cool and uh, it's really a piece of art. And uh, actually all these items uh, years ago also was modern um, because you, you know what I mean. It's hard to explain uh, with my level of English, but anyway. Uh, so some of modern items I also enjoyed when it's like really cool. Uh, so I will show you next video tomorrow uh, it will be video with uh, Thomas Whitman Thomas Whitman interview and um, oh what is it and in the corner one more question mm -hmm. on the corner on the ah okay uh, this is an SKK pennant and um, I just bought it for my customer he used to ask me 
to find uh, for uh, him, Penance, because uh, you can just put it near the, next to dagger and uh, it will be really nice for display. You can show uh, what um, what type of dagger do you have uh, for people who just want to see it. And actually, uh, people, actually veterans also like to liberate this uh, penance and all stuff. Uh, oh, by the way, this one I brought back from um, uh, from Italy. I used to travel to Italy. I traveled to Italy and um, I brought it back from Italy. So uh, the same veterans, same veterans brought back all these pennants and flags uh, to the United States as a war souvenir. So um, that is why I bought it. And uh, next collector will show this pennant. Um, uh, near the NSKK dagger, and it will be like nice display. Uh, so now it was 51 minutes um, live stream. Probably it's the uh, longest <laughs> live stream on this uh, channel, on my English speaking channels. Thank you very much, uh, guys, for our conversation. Uh, then thank you very much, very much for watching this video until the end. If you watch it in uh, record, and thank you for like subscribe and comments also because it helps to promote my uh, channel and um, it, i feel better when i see it so um tomorrow or no, no yes tomorrow i will publish a video with thomas whitman and uh, also don't forget to press bell don't uh, miss this video tonight i want to say you thank you again good one oh, no have a good one uh, let's see you real.